हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू लेट्स कोड सो माय सेल्फ करन हियर सो एक्चुअली इन दिस वीडियो आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द वीडियो दैट आई हैव शेयर्ड टू डेज बैक रिगार्डिंग द टीसीएस कोड वीटा सो इन द पार्ट वन वीडियो आई वी हैव टॉक अबाउट द रजिस्ट्रेशन व्हाट इज द टाइमिंग एवरीथिंग एंड इन द सेकंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम कवरिंग अबाउट व्हाट आर द प्रेप how do you prepare from the tcs code vita to get your uh tcs code vita offer letter in a proper manner so in this video i'm talking about something that is actually important for cracking the tcs code vita for this upcoming season in this video i'm talking about the strategies as well as the data section what are the data section that you have to study on cracking the tcs code vita of that is season 12 this year also i am sharing the 20 inter 20 question that were highly asked in the previous years from the last two recent prayers i am actually prepared uh, 20 question that actually asked in the previous year so let's start the video so you can see the tcs code vita has some breakdown rounds so in the first round there will call preliminary round or you can say the phase 1 so in the phase 1 actually focus on the solving pro basic problem that are basically using arrays string and linked list and question may involve some simple algorithms and data manipulations second one the qualifier round where you to expect you to tackle more complex problem involving trees and graphs problem solving up involving dynamic programming concepts might be introduced in the third round that is the final round that is the your round feature advanced problem that requires a combination of multiple data structure that means a problem will consist of consist of the data structure that has map you have to utilize grid you have to utilize so that type of question will be asked in the final round and the topic which should be covered in the final round that you should cover to crack the code vita our graph algorithm advanced tree structure and dynamic programming are often emphasized and dynamic programming here will be advanced so the summary of this that in the first round you should be simple on the basic problem that are asked from the array string and the linked list topic and some basic algorithm like the searching sorting or something and some data manipulations and the qualifier round will be based on the tree and graph that with some advanced data structure uh, concepts and there will be some concept uh, questions on the dynamic programming concept that will be single db 2 ddp in the final round i have told you that it's will the combination of uh, where you have to use multiple data structure in one question and in that you have to learn about the graph algorithms and there will be more advanced graph algorithm you have to learn advanced tree structure you have to learn and dynamic programming so be ad advanced level we have to understand that tiling db uh next you have to understand the how to make your partition db that type of problem you have to learn in the final round so that's about the round wise breakdown that what are the question and how the type of the question scenario of the to be asked in the tcs code vita next what data structure to be covered so let's see step by step so in the first part you have to cover the topic that is the basic operation of the array we have to learn about the insertion deletion traversal next the search algorithm that you have to learn you have to learn the linear search and binary search next you have to learn the two pointer technique sliding window technique you have to do some common problems like find duplicates sorting implementation and understanding and the next will be maximum sub arrays sum and cadence algorithm and you have to done at least maximum 30 question on this topic that should be array and there will be a two pointer sliding window on each topic you have to do at least 30 to 40 questions of its pattern next the data structure is the string so in the string you have to cover the string manipulation searching substring searching and substring searching is the most common problem that asked in the various coding assessments and various uh, contest next you have to understand about the kmp algorithm robin car algorithm you have to understand the character frequency counting pandrom checking and the common problem you have to uh, practice the longest palindromic substring anagram and permutation 
and you have to do at least 30 to 40 question of the string topic so that you can tackle every question that will be asked in the TCS code vita this year that will be based on the topic string that will be in the round one next you have to learn about a link list in the link list you have to cover the topics like singly and double link list operation like insertion deletion and reversing next you have to, you have to cover the concept of the detection cycle that is called the Floyd cycle detection and what are the common problem you have to solve that just like the merging two sorted link list, find the middle element removing duplicates and many more problems uh, related to the link list because in the link list every contest there will be a 13 question and every other will 30 questions that will be asked so you have to cover at least 30 questions of the link list. not 13 it should be 13 and the 13 question will be also asked in the contest and many more there so you have to just learn that 13 questions of the link list that will be too much that will be make a base for the link list data structure for you for the TCS code vita next the topic is the stack so in the stack you have to learn about implementation stack using the array or link list you have to learn the application of the expression evaluating backtracking the common problem you have to cover like the valid parenthesis next greater element in fix to profix postfix or postfix to infix and vice versa and in the in all the data structure you have to cover all the medium label questions because in the eg label question you can easily solve it but in the medium label you will be feel tricky so the tcs code vita level should be high so you need to prepare the hard and the medium stuff for the tcs code vita next the data structure is the queue where you have to cover the circular queue implementation priority queue and heaps common problem implementation a queue using stacks label or a traversal of a tree next data structure, data structure that you have to cover is the trees so in the trees you have to cover the boundary tree concept bst concept that is the boundary search tree concept in that you have to cover the tree traversal tree traversal including the pre-order in order and post order also you have to cover the height balance tree that is also called the avl tree next what is the common problem that you have to cover you have to uh, cover the problem like lowest common ancestor tree diameter serial and deserialize uh, a boundary tree and many more problems that are related to the tree you have to cover and you have to do at least 30 to 40 question of the t data structure to be crack tcs code vita if you are get a question of the tree then so that you should be prepared for that so done at least 30 question of each topic next topic is the most advanced topic that will be asked in the tcs code vita and it will be either in round 1 or round 2 or round 3 in the 3 round they will be mostly asked but in the tree in the graph topic you have to cover graph representation we have to cover agency matrix agency list next you have to cover the traversal algorithm like bfs and dfs you have to cover the sorted first algorithm that is a sorted path algorithms where you have to cover the dikshatr algorithm floyd watson algorithm next what are the com common problems you have to cover you have to uh, solve the common problems like the detection cycles in directed and directed graph topological sort uh, sorting and many more graph problems and that will be a medium level question you have to cover in the graphs so that you can tackle easily every question that will be asked in the tcs code vita that will be based on the data structure graph next the topic that is the application and the pattern of problem solving approach in data structure in the array that will be the hashing so in the hashing you have to cover the hash table and hash map we have to learn about the collision resolution strategies chaining and open addressing and what are the common problem you have to cover you have to uh, find the duplicates count the frequency find the two numbers who that sum up to a specific value and many more problem that are related to the hashing pattern and you have to solve at least 30 problems to this topic and next is a share that is very much important for the tcs code vita that is called dynamic programming so in the dynamic programming you have to understand the concept of the memoization 
and tabulation technique. We are able to understand the common problems and do the common prob problems like knapsack, longest common subsequence, coin chain problem, and many more problems that are related to the graph. Uh, sorry, related to the dynamic programming. And you have to solve at least 30 to 40 questions of the dynamic programming topic. Next topic that you have to cover is the bit manipulation. So in the bit manipulation, you have to first cover the bit operators and their application. And what are the common problems you have to cover? In that you have to cover the find, finding the single non-duplicate number, counting the number of ones in the binary representation, and many more problems that you should cover from the bit manipulation so that you would be ready for the question that will be asked in the TCS code vita based on the topic bit manipulation. Because bit manipulation is actually a tricky part, you have to understand the basic uh, JOR operator, XOR operator, OR operator, right shift, left shift. This type of problem will be asked in the TCS code vita for the bit manipulation topic. So you have to do at least 30 to 40 questions of the bit manipulation for the TCS code beta, at least you have one uh, one or a half months for the TCS code beta preparation. So you will be easily do that. If you covered all the theoretical concepts, done some problem on the basic data structure, you will really tackle that problem and start solving the problem based on that data structure. And in the average data structure, you have to cover at least 30 to 40 question of this topic because that will be compulsory factor to crack the TCS code beta that is the season 12 of this year. Next, you can use the platforms like CodeChef for the giving the contest regularly because in the contest, you can you get the question that will ask similarly in the TCS code beta. Because the, in the contest when you are participating in CodeChef, you see the question are based like a storyline problem. So the same type of question will be asked in the TCS code beta. So the code chef will be the platform, will be the best platform to prepare for the TCS code beta. Next, you have to cover the easy, uh, basic one line question that will be based on the lead code. And you have to do some of the application and some of the exercise on the hacker rank to solve the problem basically on the story based. Because the story based problem are actually asked in the contest OA and especially in the TCS code beta, there will be large number of paragraph, one, two, four line, five, six lines of paragraph. So you have to understand that you have to do problem based on the story based question that will be based on the platform hacker rank or either code chef, you can use that. You can participate, you have to participate in the mock test, mock contest like the code beta, explain participate online test. You have to understand the complexity that means you have to and then you will be able to understand that analyzation of the time and space complexity of your solution because that will be a very much important factor for the data structure part for the TCH code beta decision. Next, you have to review previous year problem. That means you have to solve the previous year problem because the previous year problem will give you the brief detail that what are the problem that will be asked in this upcoming year from that previous problem? If you covered that previous previous year problem, you will be ready for that ECF code beta. For your preparation, I am prepared that. So you can see that I have already prepared the question that will be asked in the TCS code beta in the previous year. And there will be 20 problems that are totally on the story based problem with their uh, input and output with their explanation to for the solution like the greedy hosted problem, date time problem, civil war problem and I'm adding this sheet in the description list so that you can be, you can prepare for the teacher code beta easily. And after covering through all the data structure concept, you should also solve this sheet because this will be a prep strategy for cracking the teacher code beta because this will give you proper skill of how to prepare how vast type of question that will be asked in the TCS code beta. So this is about today video. So if you found this helpful, make sure that to like and subscribe to stay updated on more opportunity like this. And I'm sharing more things about the TCS code beta in the next upcoming